Bob T. No Greek. No, no, I'm not. No, man. I just want to be clear. Bob shut me down. How many times? How many times has Shamsi pulled you to one side, saying I've come here to talk with Bob? Twice. I'm free from this. Twice. <laughs> They don't sound like the Dara team. Take it. Be honest. He's gonna come for you today. How, how, many, how many times? Come for you today, Bob. Who's <laughs> betting he won't actually want to have a conversation? Bob's gonna Ooh. come. Who's Bob. betting he doesn't Bob. actually want to have Listen, a conversation? Quick question, Bob. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Do you condemn or condone? <laughs> do, you, do you condemn or condone Samuel, First Samuel 15:3, Joshua 6:21, where he says to go and utterly destroy it? Do you condemn or condone? The killings of sheep and donkeys by your butt. No. Do you condemn or condone it? I condone it. You condone it? Yes. So you, so you support the killing of donkeys? What no. did the donkeys do to your butt? No. Let me let me answer that question. It's a fair question. It's the kind of typical question that members of the Dawa team ask. And we have to be clear as to why they ask the question. The reason why Muslims ask the question, uh, as the reason why Muslims ask the question about this passage in the Old Testament, is because they are embarrassed by their prophet Muhammad, who raped and murdered in the seventh century, and who they acclaim as the best representative. And that is why, and that is why they go to this passage. What has that got to do with now to address the passage? The passage was in history it is what god commanded in the past it is not something that any christian would feel obliged to do today why because christians interpret the bible through a prism of covenants there was a covenant with adam there was a covenant with noah there was a covenant with abraham there was a covenant with moses and there is a new covenant with jesus christ each of those covenants is different from the one before it and therefore what it applies in an old covenant does not necessarily carry into the new covenant so when they ask us this question about these old testament passages where god commands israel to utterly destroy Christians read those passages as something to do with the past, not a command for the present. But wasn't it by, the same God? By wasn't contrast, it the, wasn't it the same, same God? God yes, yes, same God. By contrast, by contrast, Muslims believe that Muhammad is the best example today. So to when he commanded his followers to rape, he was doing that as the best example. When he commanded his followers to take slaves, he was doing that as the best example. When he commanded a mother to be ripped in two by camels, he did that as the best example. When he did, when he commanded his followers to have sex with their slaves, he did that as the best example liar, Christians have a, liar, a difference Bob. in our faith to liar, Islam Bob. the Old Testament Bob, the Old Testament does not apply in its fullness today there is a new covenant and Muslims would do better to criticize our faith based upon what it actually teaches why am I lying why are you going why are you talking like that for when clearly the God of the Old Testament what am I lying and the God about? of the God of New Testament is the same. Does so the God he of the Old utterly, Testament say there'll be a new covenant? He said utterly destroy it. And you talk about male I and female slaves, a yeah? Bondmates, yeah? I asked what about you a question. Leviticus 25, 44? Notice he doesn't want to answer bondmates? the question. What about the bondmates? Notice he doesn't want to answer the question. 25, 44. I'll ask you again. What about the bondmates? You're saying that I lied. Yes. Right. Am I lying about the idea that there is a new and an old covenant? No, you're lying about Islam. Bob. Are you you're saying that Christ Islam, doesn't Bob. establish a new covenant? Bob, Bob, you're lying about Islam. So I'm not Bob, lying about Christ, my own faith then? Christ said that he's got a... Fulfill. So I'm not lying about my own faith then? Bob. Answer the question. Bob. Bob. Do... Am I lying? Yes, you Answer are. the question. You are lying. Listen to the question. You're lying on both of them. He doesn't even know. Right. Bob, you're lying on both. So, you know let why? me just prove him you wrong. Know why? Let me just prove because, him wrong. Because God he said... just said... He, he has just said he came that to fulfill the, the Christian faith not to does not, not teach a new, a new covenant. covenant. 
No, that is what he said. You're changing it, though. That this is what he said. Change. Listen to changing. this. So now let us compare the claim of the Taoist in his ignorance about the Christian faith when he said that I was lying no about the Christian faith in teaching no a new covenant and compare it to the words of Jesus himself. Because the Muslims at the corner work to a script. They never actually pick up a Bible. So do you, they Bob? never actually so study. You, they never actually learn. Same, now, same to you, Bob. This is what Jesus said. Are you listening? Yes. This no. cup yes. which is poured out for you is the new covenant. I can't hear you, Bob. In my Louder. blood. Louder. Jesus has just said he has established a new covenant. A new covenant that was promised in the Old Testament. Now, sir, are you willing to retract what you said it's when you said that I lied about Jesus establishing a new covenant? Is the new covenant same as the Ten Commandments? Is, it, is the new covenant a part of the Ten Commandments? Or is it changed from the Ten Commandments? The Ten Commandments carry over into the new. So, so when he says actually destroy the Amalekites and the donkeys, yeah, it's part of the it's part of Jesus' teaching as well, isn't it, Bob? No. Yes, it is. Oh, so suddenly a man who didn't even know that Jesus Christ established a new covenant suddenly thinks himself an expert of the Old Testament. You're not an expert neither, Bob. So, let us be clear. Let us be clear. God says in the Old Testament, this is in Jeremiah, something that my brother here has not bothered to read. This is what God says in the Old Testament. Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not like the old covenant. Did you hear that bit? No, you didn't, because you're not listening. I'll read it to you again. Not Where, like Greek? Greek? the old and covenant, well. which I made with their fathers in the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Who brought them out of the land of Egypt? Moses! Who was the Ten Commandments given to? Moses! So Jeremiah the prophet is saying that Yahweh has said that he will establish a new covenant that is not like the covenant of Moses. So when he appeals to the laws of Moses and tries to say that we Christians need to live by them in the new covenant that I've already demonstrated Jesus established at the night of the Last Supper, he is doing it in ignorance of biblical teaching. Why? Because the Dawah team, the Muslims that do evangelism here in the park, are ignorant of the Christian faith. They only have a script to work from that they hear from their teachers in the mosque. And the moment you show them anything that disproves their script, they have nothing to say. So now let me ask you this question. In Jeremiah, God says through the prophet, I will establish a new covenant not like the covenant that I made with your fathers when I brought them out of Egypt. Who is God referring to? What covenant is God referring to when he says a new covenant not like the old covenant? Which is the old covenant? Silence! Exactly as I said. The moment you take them to a text that disproves their script, no, they have nothing, nothing to say. Bob, you haven't disproven nothing. So I'll ask you again. It says in the text, do a Bible study with me. Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord. So who's speaking? Yahweh. When I will make a new covenant. What did he say? New covenant. What does new mean? New means something new, not something old. Listen carefully. 
which I made with their fathers in the day. Sorry, it says, not like the covenant which I made with their fathers in the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. I'll ask you again. The text is clear. There is a new covenant and an old covenant. What is being referred to when it says old covenant? I don't know, Bob. He doesn't know. Why doesn't he know? Because the script that he has learnt in his mosque is not sufficient to deal with the scriptures. That is why he doesn't know. Scriptures. So that, exactly. So that's the, that's the, that's the new covenant. You Not say the Christians new covenant replaces the old covenant. Correct. Yep. So, How many different so that means do we need? So God's old law, law has been replaced by a new law. No. Yes. A new covenant is so replacing an old covenant. Okay. Let me explain. When, 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 Let me explain because you've already admitted you don't know. Now, if you're here just to argue, you can argue. But if you want to learn, listen. I'll